So I tried eating for my blood type and uh, I feel pretty good. Let's talk about it. I'm in dental school a long time ago. I'm overweight. I'm overweight. In dental school, overweight. And I had a lot of pimples. As a grown man, I had pimples and, and stuff just coming out on my face. I uh, had a girlfriend that, that followed me to dental school. 10 o'clock in the morning, we get a 10 o'clock break from, from the two hours of work that we'd already done. And she'd bring me a sandwich. It was sometimes it would be a warm sandwich. It would be like ham or turkey or eat sometimes some baked chicken with some tomatoes and cheese and on bread. It was delicious. I, I don't know if my classmates remember her or that, but I, I do remember people saying that they were jealous. I, I do remember hearing something like that, but maybe they forgot all about it. But uh, let me know if you remember uh, Grace. That was her name, Grace. I'm sure she's somewhere in the world being beautiful. She's a mom somewhere, I'm sure. I haven't followed her. But anyway, Grace, thank you for the food. And uh, I was getting bigger, all right? Um, and I didn't know why. Well, I, I was living kind of a sedentary life. I was studying all the time. Um, I'd roll a blade every now and again. That was my, like, break away from the books type thing. I was a dad at the time also, so I had to travel from Nashville to Atlanta to get my daughter. I just, I didn't really do what I needed to do. Pimples everywhere. I mean, that, that's what was going on with me. That's all I'm saying to you. And... I think there was a time I needed to uh, get some clothes. And I noticed that the clothes that I'm buying now are bigger than the clothes that I used to have. And I said, wow. And then I said to myself, well, that's just what happens. Is what happens as life goes on and you get older. That's what I said. I said that to myself. And then I don't know what made me click. Ah, yeah. Well, a couple things made me click and say, wait a minute, wait, wait. Something's going on here. So I went on a journey to really, really try to understand what one can do to make themselves more healthy. I mentioned this in another video that I did with my, uh, with my classmate, Dr. Oscar Pino. Um, I said in that video that there was a rash that happened on this arm right here and it just wouldn't go away. And the rash would come every summer and then kind of go away in the winter and then come back in the summer, go in. And then I was like, what is going on with it? I cannot keep doing this. I'm not doing this. And that was it. So I got onto the blood type diet and I'm an O. So there's many, 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 many things that an O blood type person can eat. One of them is meat. Now, I don't know if you should necessarily eat meat every day, but apparently the reason why meat is so good for us is because the acid content in our stomachs is very high. And when we break down the meat, which is connective tissue, we're breaking down the connective tissue parts. What makes the connective tissue the connective tissue? We break down into those particular amino acids that we can then take into our body and build our own connective tissue or other proteins or cartilage or bone or whatever we need to do with it. That's, that is what I understand of an O blood type and why sometimes we need to eat meat. At time of this shooting, uh, uh, a friend of mine's mother passed. But mom, her, or the mother passed at 100, almost 101 years old. Seems like a pretty good time to go, I, I'd imagine. It seems like a pretty good time. But I had to ask, I had to be like, okay, what did your mother do? How did she eat? And here's what she said to me. I mean, this is just today. This is crazy. She said, Mom ate mostly vegetables. She ate mostly vegetables. She would have meat and chicken from time to time, but mostly vegetables. And um, morning was always grits, bacon, and eggs. Every morning for a hundred, almost one years. That's what, that's what her mother ate. I mean, is that the secret to life? Is it the grits? 
Is it the bacon? I, I don't know, because 101 is pretty good. I mean, if you're going beyond that, it's like, okay, let's go. But what's life like after that, after, after 101? I, I mean, I actually hope to find out what life is like after 101. But I hope that I have my faculties and I can still do at least some or most or 80 or 99% of the stuff that I can still do now. Oh, I know I'm asking a lot, dear Lord. I am asking a lot, but I'm asking for that because I think it would be good. That's what I think. So, but we'll see. That's some years from now. That's some, you know, we're not gonna be there yet. But we're gonna walk there, we're gonna get there. <laughs> Please, go slow, drive slow, homie, drive slow. When I changed my understanding of myself, the body chemistry is something that now I, I, I realize that I have to tailor or feed the body chemistry that's me. And I started researching. I mean, there's this book called Eat Right for Your Blood Type. I feel like the book kind of fell on deaf ears some kind of way. Some people have resurrected it and, and have a better understanding of how they should eat and they feel better. They get less colds, they have less inflammation, less aches and pains and clickiness. That's what the people that are eating the blood type diet have said back to me. I had an interview with uh, one of my patients who is an O blood type just like me and she said that she is not eating meat and she doesn't like to eat meat. She doesn't like the texture, the quality, the taste, the thought of it. Meat, she doesn't want it, but her not eating meat sent her to the hospital. And even in the hospital, they're like, you need more iron. You need more B12. And she just didn't have that because although she was eating a healthy, clean diet, she just didn't have any meat in her diet. And that made her heart race and made her iron levels in her blood stream go down uh, to dangerous levels, dangerous levels. So knowing what you are and then accepting what you are is I guess the second part because my friend did understand that eating meat is probably good for her but she doesn't want to so she's just going to take her take her chance make her choice because you know what we all have to choose how we're going to do how we're going to be and that is the greatest thing about life is that God has given us free will but if you think like you want to improve, uh, have some better understanding about your health and wellness, well then, yeah, investigate what your blood type is and see about eating the way that your blood type is by avoiding the foods that you shouldn't eat, eating the foods that you should eat, and if you want to go really, really crazy, take a food allergy test and check it up against the, the, the sheet that you have that says don't eat this and eat this and see how it goes. Because the way that we feed ourselves, particularly in nowadays, I mean, right now uh, we are we're about west of the airport in Atlanta and I actually just heard a plane go by. Well, those planes, they dump fuel sometimes and the fuel go, floats right through the air and we eat it in our food and we inhale it and we get, and it gets on our skin and those would be some pretty industrial toxins that we have in us and on us. So that means that the food that we eat and the choices that we make nowadays in this day and age have to be more strategic if we are looking to have a healthy life. Clear skin, fresh breath, ability to get up and move go up two or three flights of stairs. These things for some people are challenging. And you just have to maybe take some time to find out who you are inside and act accordingly. Know thyself. I, I would say that that phrase has gotta be somewhere in the Bible, but I haven't been able to find it. If someone could tell me where know thyself is, or was that a Shakespearean phrase? I don't know, but it just seems like you should know yourself. When I changed my food, my diet, my waistline got smaller. I stopped getting that summer cold, winter cold. My, my skin cleared up. I did start drinking more water. I definitely did a regular exercise routine, which for me was kickboxing, which was just 
really a whole lot of cardio. You do exercises in between kicking the bag and all, but it's for the most part a cardio workout. Tried to improve my sleep, started meditating, did some things that were different than the things that I was doing before. That I was doing before. And maybe the reason why I'm doing them is because I'm older. And uh, maybe I'm feeling like I have to do these things because I'm feeling my mortality. And in feeling my mortality, I'm saying, oh, wait, wait. I really, really need to take better care of myself now. Because for us, this moment right now that we're sharing together, this is the youngest that we're going to be right now. This is as young as we're going to be. And if this is as young as we're going to be, that's fine. But let's make every moment count and let's look towards a brighter, healthy, wealthy future. That's where I am with this channel, with what's been on my mind lately, with the things that I'm, I'm sharing with, with you, because I think that we could hear this every now and again, sometimes. We could hear, be reminded of the things that we already know or feel inside. Maybe the bag of potato chips isn't good for you. Maybe the bag of potato chips actually is more detrimental if you do it once a day than cigarettes. I said maybe, is that true? I don't know, I don't know. Maybe milk isn't good for you. Maybe milk and sugar in your coffee isn't good for you. If you are finding yourself not able to lose weight, if you're finding yourself not uh, feeling your best, maybe you need to look around yourself and see what you are ingesting on a daily basis. And, and just take stock of what's going on for you. Because we've only got this one life to live, this one to live. We may get to live another. We may have already lived multiple others. But in this one, let's use it. And let's use it very well. That's what I think we should be doing together, my beautiful, beautiful friends. How about that's all I want to say about that? please like and subscribe. Um, please leave a comment in the beautiful comment section below and we'll talk about it later. Thanks for watching.